Hey everyone, Techni here with a keyboard review, and you guys have been requesting the heck out of this keyboard. The keyboard we have today is the HK Gaming GK61 60% Gaming Keyboard. Hey, let's take a look at it. Alright, so as far as in your box, you'll get the keyboard, you'll get the braided USB cable here, you'll get a quick little uh, manual, a couple showing you a couple shortcuts, whatever, nothing really major in there, keycap puller, and then a switch puller. Alright, now before we get into that switch puller right there, this keyboard is using the Gatoron optical switches. As you can see right here, I have the reds, I believe they come in browns and blues as well, and yes, they are hot swappable with other optical switches. All right, so what the heck is an optical switch? I mean, this is my first time using an optical switch keyboard. As you can see, here's the switch right here, and there's no metal inside it, right? No metal whatsoever. I know it's hard to focus on this little guy, but again, there's no metal inside it at all. When you press the switch, it just slides right down into that hole right there. You can see it fill the gap. I'm not sure if you guys, there we go. Now you can see it right there. There we go. So hard to focus on this little guy. And now when we get over to the keyboard, as you can see the little optical sensors right there. So we got LED and then sensor, sensor, send that little optical over. And it's pretty cool because honestly, if you're on your keyboard and you just push something down like through this, like passing through it, it'll register on your screen. So it's kind of just funny to play with. Like I said, you get down here and bam, whenever you bypass those two sensors right there, it'll actually register the key press. All right, before we go any further, let's go on and talk about those optical switches a little bit. Again, this is my first time using optical switches switches so I was just really curious it's just fun kind of getting in there messing with some different tech kind of playing around with it picking it apart you know what I mean but anyways talking from a basic mechanical switch to these uh, optical switches even talking basic gator on whatever you know I didn't notice any difference as far as my gameplay or anything like that as far as feel I say these are just a little bit smoother but again as far as like gameplay and stuff I didn't notice any difference I guess you can read stuff everywhere about uh, the companies and whatnot saying that they register quicker and that and other. I don't have anything to test that again as far as my basic gameplay I didn't notice any difference I guess thinking about the whole process and how it works it sounds like it should register quicker, right? Because it's just going down. The two sensors are registering right there. And bam, you get your uh, your key press, right? And then also with wear. You don't have all these other parts going off and, uh, you know, scraping against each other and touching each other to get the uh, key press right there. So it just sounds like, hey, it should register quicker and it should be more durable since you're not having all this wear across the board. But the thing that kind of catches me as far as these optical switches, again, you got the two optical, and then your uh, key press comes down and it registers in there. Let's say if... Uh, I don't know, let's say if you get some Dorito crumbs in there, right, and it gets in between that sensor right there. I don't know, it's not going to register, you know, so it seems like this kind of board, maybe you got to get in there and kind of clean it a little bit more. I don't know, that's kind of where maybe you get dust or, or pet hair in there, you know, it seems like what if it just blocks off that sensor? I don't know, that's my only fault of it right there, or if it gets stuck in between the key right there. So maybe this kind of board, hey, maybe just clean it a little bit more. You know, as far as those optical switches as well, what just kind of popped in my mind, it brings me back, I don't know if you guys saw the Razer Viper uh, mouse review, and they started using optical switches on their uh, key presses for their mouse right there. So, you know, it just popped in my head right now while I was doing this review, I said, wait a second, this kind of reminds me of something. So it's kind of like that same kind of technology right here, you know, so again, I don't know, is it this new technology that's coming out, we'll have to see how it plays out but hey it's pretty cool right now all right so moving on i just thought the switches were really cool sorry to talk so long about them i think were just different to me and cool but anyways as far as the keycaps there are double shot abs as you can see right here now they're quite interesting because the top is that matte coating but then on the side they are glossy as you can see right there and that goes for every single uh keycap right there it honestly gives it a pretty cool look because the keyboard it goes glossy, let me show you the side. It goes glossy, matte, glossy, matte. So it has a really cool, it just looks sleek and very stealthy. It looks really awesome. And as far as the build, I mean, it's solid. It's one piece, the whole body right there is one piece. You have your rubber feet right on the bottom, four rubber feet, no feet pop out. So that's kind of a bummer if you, if you tend to using it that way. It does not have that. But again, you got your four rubber feet there. 
the key presses go down into the casing so you have no ting or no uh, you know kind of bell ring sound in there the uh, metal plate underneath it uh, the keys right there very very durable as you can see the bigger keys use the uh, nice mock switch stabilizers not just the metal bar so whatever key press you uh, you're using right there it feels very stable and balanced across the board all right now one thing that threw me off since i talked about the switches and the keycaps and everything one thing i kind of want to point out here which was a little bit weird. I don't know if it's because they're hot swappable or just because they're optical switches and there's nothing really holding them in place there. But listen to this. That's just like it's, it's a whole lot. And if you you just hear them dancing around a lot, you don't feel it or hear it whenever you're playing by any means. No, nothing like that. But uh, it's just weird. I don't know if that's the optical switch or is it that that they're hot swappable. I don't know what's doing it, but again, that's the first keyboard that's done that. I honestly think it's the optical switch because that's the first difference right there. And as far as the keycaps and the switches right there, when you're doing your, let's get this sound test. So as far as that sound test, again, it's just different. It feels plasticky, I guess. I mean, it's firm and solid, but again, it's just so different compared to some of the other ones. And I really got to class all this as that optical switch. Again, it's just different and I'm not used to it. But in my opinion, it feels plasticky, which I guess it is because you got the plastic uh, keycap, then you got the plastic switch, and that's pretty much all you got going on right there, right? And that's what it feels like. All right, now let's go on and talk about the RGB. And this is probably the one thing I did not like about this keyboard. Let me pull you in and show you here. I'm not sure how well you guys can pick it up on the camera, but watch the motion right there. Catch it in the greens a little bit. Let's see. There you go. You saw it in that J a little bit right there. Anyways, I'm not sure if you guys can catch that, but when you're looking at it like this right here, especially in like the greens or the reds and stuff like that, whenever it's transitioning, it's not like a smooth motion or transition. It's almost like it's kind of changing two colors within each key right there. Because honestly, when you're looking at it, like I got purple, I got green and red in the same key right there. And it's not like a motion where it's like flowing. It's on top of each other. Again, see if you can catch it right here. Might be hard to catch it in the camera. There you go. You can see it when the green goes by really good, actually. So again, whenever I was using the board gaming and whatnot, like I had to turn off the effect right there because it made my eyes just feel like they were twitching out of my head or something. It drove me crazy. Like, I'm like, ah, you know, I kept looking down. I was like, what's going on here? Because it, it almost felt like it was just kind of glitching out there with each key jumping out. I don't know. It drove me a little bit crazy right there. But again, if you put it on a solid right here like this, it looks pretty crisp. But now talking about the solids I could not find out and it's not in the manual and nowhere online could I find out how to cycle through solid colors like I like mine to be on red right and that's pretty much how I leave all of my keyboards anyways on a solid color but again I can't find out how to cycle this onto solid colors I did read up that they do have software but it's not on their website you had to go through some stores bang good or something I don't know some stores website which me personally I don't feel comfortable with that so I'm not gonna do it you know what I mean I would have liked to just cycle my solid colors on here. Again, maybe I'm missing something, but I tried everything. So as far as that RGB, yes, on the board, you can control the brightness and the speed of your effect. There's a few effects on there, and you have that solid green. I don't understand why there's not an option to select any other solid color, which is a real bummer. Again, it's probably in the software there. But uh, as far as the RGB, uh, I don't know. I think it's a miss. All right, so as far as this HK Gaming GK61 6% gaming keyboard right here, it was interesting. It was really fun to test, playing around with the optical switches and everything. Again, it's so hard because I can't rate it as good or bad. The only thing I say was bad about it was that RGB. You know, that, that was a little bit of a disappointment there. I'm not an RGB fan by any means, but again, I would have liked to be able to control my options a little bit. That's the only negative I could say. But as far as the board, I thought it was interesting and it was cool. It's different, so again, I can't rate that as bad just because it's different because I've never used anything like it. Feels a little bit different. Sounds a little bit different. That's a little weird right there, but I'm sure that's just the switches. But, uh, you know, I want to kind of say, oh, uh, hey, it's cheap, but it's really not. It's just kind of like that, those switches in there with that combination of the uh, caps right there. But again, that's where I put it. 
it's different. So hey, let me know if you use a GK61 and what you think about it. Again, uh, what do you think about the optical switches? Do you notice any difference from the optical switch to a basic mechanical switch? Please let me know down in the comments because I'm really curious. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this review on this keyboard. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.